Hello students, so we will solve this one here for motion part 2 video. So as you can see here, they have asked one question. Underline the vector in the following list of quantities. So as you know very well, here force. Force is a vector and even velocity is a vector because both have magnitude and direction. If it is written as speed, then it is not a vector quantity, then it is a scalar quantity. But velocity is written, that means it is a vector quantity because it has both magnitude and direction, whereas speed has only magnitude but no direction. Now we will solve part B of this question. A small metal ball is projected into the air with a velocity of 40 meters per second vertically upward. The graph in figure 2.1 shows how velocity changes with time until the ball reaches its maximum height. See as ball is thrown up, so you can see this boy is throwing the ball up in this direction. So ball will move. So initial velocity here you can see velocity here with this. So initial velocity here means 40 meters per second. 40 meters per second. So here at the center it is 20 meters per second. In the graph here you can see. And here when it reaches the maximum height it is 0 meter per second. Because it stops for a while. So that's why it is 0 meters per second. So this is for velocity here velocity and time here time will be there so time you can see so initially at 0 second he, he has thrown the ball here 0 seconds so here half means here 2 so at 2 seconds the ball is at the center and at here 0 when it is uh, when it has reached the maximum height this 0 when it is there so that time you can see it is 4 seconds 4 so answer is 4 seconds. 4 seconds is the answer for this. So in order to find the deceleration of the ball, we should know 4 parameters. So first parameter is x and y. The graph is there also on the x axis and y axis. So y1 and y2 we have to find out and x1 and x2 we have to find out. So here in the graph as you can see here, this is the y axis and this is the x axis. So here this is x axis in red, red color and this is y axis in blue color. So now we have to find y1 and x1. So as you can see y1 and x1 it is both y axis and x axis is starting at 0. So both y1 and x1 is 0. This is y1 is 0 initial y is 0 and even x this axis also starts from 0. So x also starts from 0. So x1 is also 0 so both initial values are 0 now y2 value we have to find out what is the value of y2 so y2 means here maximum point where it has reached so y2 equals to 40 it is here 40 so 40 equals to y2 and now x2 x2 you can see this is the point where it is meeting here on the x-axis so this is the point so this we can write as x2 so x2 means 4.1 so this when we get we can solve using this formula deceleration equals to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 so now we will substitute the values whatever we have got here so y2 we have got 40 and y1 is 0 x2 we have got here as 4.1 minus 0 so 40 upon 4.1 so i will solve in on my calculator let's see what we are getting so here 9.76 is the answer so deceleration meters per second square unit we will write so this is the deceleration so further they have asked this question the maximum height reached by the ball so this is the question the maximum height reached by the ball so for this we have to find area of this triangle formed between this this lines of x and y axis so we will find that area so we will name this triangle as abc a b and c so this is the triangle so area of a triangle any triangle is given by half into base into height 
not into base into height so you can see here half into base is BC into height is AB so we will substitute the values here equals to half BC is 4.1 half into 4.1 into AB is 40 so here uh, we will solve this question so 2 ones are 2 2 2 are 4 0 so equals to 2 ones are 2 2 4 is 8 so here it is coming in this way so here uh, and decimal is there so it will shift to this thread so it will become 82 meters meters so it will become 82 meters is the answer for part 2 to 3 of this, this is maximum height raised so now we will do C part so here as you can see the part C says that add a line to the graph to show how velocity of the ball changes after it reaches its maximum height so as you can see the boy has, boy has thrown the ball like this so here this is the boy who has thrown the ball vertically upward so ball has reached like this to the maximum height then again it will fall down now back after reaching the maximum height so initially the velocity increases here initially the velocity so will the velocity will decrease first so first so it was uh, four here it was here it was 40 meters per second so it became 20 at the center and then it became um, here 0 at the maximum height it will stop for a while then again it will fall down so when it is falling down now that time you can understand here the velocity will again increase so it first decreases while moving upward then while falling down it will again increase so it is increasing in this way so uh, it is increasing that means but it is moving whatever the boy has thrown the ball upwards but it is moving back downwards so uh, it is uh, moving in the opposite direction where the boy has thrown the ball so opposite direction means it is negative so velocity will be taken as negative so the graph will become negative while it is falling down so let's see so we are doing this part huh? C part so uh, it will now again it will it will increase but the values will be negative so they have asked this question add a line to the graph to show how the velocity of ball changes after it reaches its maximum height so initially from this uh, maximum velocity initial velocity is 40 meters per second when it was thrown so uh, it reached to the zero velocity when it reached the maximum height then again it will fall down but it is falling towards opposite direction where the boy has thrown the ball so that's why it is negative so it will come towards the downward so downward on the y axis so let's find out how it will look so you have to write uh, your line should extend to the 6 6 here 6 is written 6 seconds so that means you have to extend the line till here straight line you have to draw till 6 here like this continuous this line is there so so you have to actually draw a straight line till 6 so you have to draw like this you have to extend till 6 seconds so you have to just make it extend it like this and it should reach this axis y axis and it should touch the y axis like this so at this point where it is reaching now that is the answer straight line should be there so that is the answer so as you can see the velocity again starts increasing when it, from 0 to here it is 20 but minus is given because it is falling uh, back the boy has thrown the ball upwards but it is falling back down so when it is falling back down means boy is thrown upward so opposite to the direction where it is thrown so that's why here it is written as minus 20 or minus 40 so here it is coming approximately to minus 19 approximately so minus 19 here on the uh, y axis so this is the you have to draw like this for C part so hope you understand this question so if you have any difficulty in understanding the question or you haven't understood any part so you can write in the comment box i will try to solve the problems